Okay, so imagine this. You're downtown, right, enjoying lunch in the park, you know, scrolling through social media, and you're totally oblivious to the fact that your phone's acting kind of off. Uh-huh. It suddenly thinks it's found a great connection, but it's not your usual cell tower. Oh. It's a stingray, and someone might be listening in. Yeah. Pretty creepy, huh? It's definitely unsettling how these devices can practically become invisible. Right. Like, they mimic cell towers to trick your phone into connecting, and you'd never even know. It's like a secret agent sneaking into your digital life. Exactly. A stealthy way to gather information, track your location, uh -huh. and potentially even listen to your conversations. So we know these stingrays are out there. But, like, do we really know how widespread they are? That's the thing. It's hard to say for sure, and that's what makes it so unnerving. You might be thinking, well, if I'm not doing anything wrong, what's the big deal? But, you know, mass surveillance really impacts everyone, even if you think you've got nothing to hide. Yeah, that's a crucial point. It's not just about individual privacy. It's about, you know, the erosion of our freedoms as a society. Exactly. And here's the kicker. Most people have zero clue if they've ever encountered a stingray. But fear not. That's where this deep dive comes in. Yeah. Today we're shining a light on these sneaky devices and exploring a new tool that can help you detect this kind of surveillance. It's called Ray Hunter, and it's been released by the EFF, the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Oh, wow. So like a digital watchdog for our privacy. Precisely. It's designed to sniff out those stingrays and give you a glimpse into this whole hidden world of digital surveillance. Before we get into the nitty gritty of Ray Hunter, Let's take a quick moment to hear from our sponsor, Stonefly. Of course. They're a leader in enterprise storage, backup disaster recovery, AI storage, and cloud solutions. And with threats like stingrays out there, securing your data is more important than ever. Absolutely. And Stonefly has some serious solutions for keeping your data locked down. If you're looking for an impenetrable fortress for your data, look no further than their air-gapped and immutable storage options. They're like the Fort Knox of data security. I like that analogy. So, you know, one thing that really blows my mind about Ray Hunter is that it doesn't need any fancy equipment. It runs on a mobile hotspot, something a lot of people already have. That's right. And the EFF specifically chose the Orbic RC400L for their testing okay. because it's really affordable and accessible to almost anyone. So they've democratized this tech, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, I got to ask, like, how does this thing actually work? Well, it analyzes the control traffic between your hotspot and the cell tower, uh -huh. looking for signs that a stingray might be lurking. So it's like it's listening in on the conversation between your phone and the tower. In a way, yeah. It's yeah. looking for those telltale signs that something's not quite right. But it's not like reading my text or anything, right? Yeah, no, no, no. It's not interested in your user traffic, like websites you visit or messages you send. Okay, good to know. It's laser focused on the signals that give away a stingray's presence. Gotcha. So it's like a digital detective looking for clues at a crime scene. Perfect analogy. Speaking of protecting your data, let's circle back to Stonefly for a sec. Sure. They offer these air-gapped and immutable storage solutions, which basically create a barrier between your data and any potential threats. Exactly. So even if a hacker or you know a stingray operator got into your network, your critical data would still be totally inaccessible. Wow. It's like having a digital vault. That's the idea. So if you're looking to really beef up your digital defenses, <laughs> Stonefly is the way to go. <laughs> Head over to sales at stonefly.com to learn more and schedule a demo. Great advice. Now back to Ray Hunter. One of the things I find fascinating is how it alerts you if it spots something fishy. Yeah, it's surprisingly straightforward. So like, what does it do send you a text message? Nope, even simpler. The screen of your hotspot turns red. No way. Yeah, just like that instant visual warning. That's so cool. Then you can dig into the detailed logs to see exactly what went down. It's like your own personal surveillance radar always on guard. I love that. Mm. And here's the thing. Ray Hunter isn't just about protecting yourself. Right. It can actually help us map the use of stingrays across the country, giving us a clearer picture of how they're being deployed. It's crowdsourcing digital surveillance detection. As more people use Ray Hunter, we get a better understanding of these Stingray hotspots. So it's like we're all contributing to a giant map of surveillance. Exactly. And that information can be incredibly valuable for, you know, informing policy discussions and holding those in power accountable. It's citizen science in action, using tech to expose what's often hidden. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we're all citizen scientists working together to expose this hidden world of surveillance. And that data can be really powerful you know, for raising awareness, pushing for policy changes even. Yeah, absolutely. Imagine a map that shows exactly where and how often these stingrays are being used. 
That kind of information could be huge for challenging unlawful surveillance, holding agencies accountable, maybe even sparking some legislative reforms. Okay, so we've talked about what Ray Hunter is and how it works at a high level. Yeah. Let's get a little more technical for a minute. Hmm. How does it actually analyze that control traffic to know it's a stingray and not just a regular cell tower? It's all about recognizing the unique fingerprints of these devices. Ray Hunter looks at the specific frequencies and protocols your hotspot uses to communicate with the tower. Okay. And by comparing that data to a database of known Stingray signatures, it can flag anything that looks out of place. So like what kind of things would tip it off? Well, you might see unexpected encryption requests, unusual signal strength fluctuations, or even attempts to downgrade your connection to older, less secure protocols. So it's like a digital detective, mm -hmm. you know, looking for clues that don't quite add up. Exactly. And the really cool thing is that Ray Hunter is constantly learning and evolving. Oh, wow. So like it gets smarter over time. Yeah. As researchers and users discover new stingray tactics, that information can be fed back into the system, making it even more accurate at detecting these devices. That's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, while using Ray Hunter seems like a no brainer for anyone who cares about privacy, there are some legal things to think about, right? Yeah, that's a good point. The legality of using a tool like Ray Hunter can vary depending on where you are. Makes sense. In some places, it might be totally fine to use it to protect your privacy, while in others there might be restrictions or even bans. So, better safe than sorry. Exactly. It's always a good idea to check with a lawyer if you have any concerns. Definitely solid advice. Mm -hmm. And speaking of legal complexities, the use of stingrays by law enforcement brings up a whole other set of questions about surveillance and privacy in our society. Absolutely. The deployment of these powerful technologies needs to be subject to strong oversight and accountability. Yeah. You know, it's a delicate balance between legitimate security needs and protecting our freedoms. Okay, before we go too far down that rabbit hole, let's hear another word from our sponsor, Stonefly. Sure. As you know, they're all about data security and protection. In a world where our digital lives are constantly expanding, protecting your data should be a top priority. Absolutely. And Stonefly offers a range of solutions to keep your information safe from all kinds of threats, from ransomware attacks to yeah, even surveillance like we've been talking about. Right. Their air-gapped and immutable storage options add that extra layer of security, making sure that your data is locked down tight. It's like putting your most sensitive information in a digital safe deposit box. Exactly. So if you're ready to take control of your data security and get that peace of mind, knowing your information is truly protected, head over to sales at stonefly.com to learn more and schedule a demo. They're getting back to the use of stingrays by law enforcement. While they can be a useful tool in certain investigations, it's crucial that we have transparent guidelines and strong legal frameworks in place to prevent abuse. I totally agree. I mean, in a democracy, we have a right to know when and how these surveillance technologies are being used. Right. There needs to be clear legal justification and oversight to prevent overreach and protect our civil liberties. It's a conversation we as a society need to be having. What level of surveillance are we willing to accept? Who should have access to these technologies and under what circumstances? These are big questions, and tools like Ray Hunter are forcing us to confront them head on. Exactly. By making surveillance more visible, Ray Hunter is empowering people to hold those in power accountable and demand greater transparency. It's about taking back control of our privacy and making sure that these technologies are being used responsibly and ethically. One of the most remarkable things about Ray Hunter is that it's basically a form of citizen driven research. Yeah. It's providing valuable data on the use of Stingray technology that we wouldn't have otherwise. It's like crowdsourcing a map of surveillance. Yeah. You know, allowing us to see patterns and hotspots that might otherwise remain hidden. Yeah, and that data can be super powerful for, you know, raising awareness and maybe even pushing for policy changes. It's like we're all working together to build this huge map of where surveillance is happening. Exactly. And that kind of information could be really useful for challenging unlawful surveillance, holding agencies accountable, you know, maybe even leading to some legal reforms. And what's really cool is that Ray Hunter is just one example of how people can use tech to push back against invasive surveillance and protect their privacy. It's a reminder that we're not powerless. You know, we have the ability to understand these technologies, to question how they're being used, and to demand greater transparency. So before we wrap up our deep dive into Stingrays and this awesome tool, Ray Hunter, let's give another shout out to our sponsor, Stonefly. Of course. If you're serious about protecting your data in this digital world, Stonefly offers a whole suite of solutions to keep your information safe and sound. 
Yeah, they've got everything from air-gapped and immutable storage to robust backup and disaster recovery options. And with their expertise in AI storage and cloud solutions, they're really at the forefront of data security. If you're looking for that peace of mind, knowing that your data is truly protected, I highly recommend reaching out to Stonefly. You can contact them at sales at stonefly.com to schedule a demo and learn more about how they can help you build a digital fortress around your valuable information. So as we wrap up our conversation, I want to leave you with something to think about. We've talked about the technical side of Stingrays, the power of Ray Hunter, and the legal and ethical issues around surveillance. But what does all this mean for the future of privacy? That's the big question, isn't it? As technology keeps advancing so quickly, the line between security and privacy is getting blurrier and blurrier. It's a debate that's only going to get more intense in the years to come. For sure. Do we want to live in a world where everything we do is tracked and monitored? Or do we believe that privacy is a fundamental human right that needs to be protected? Tough questions, right? Definitely not easy answers, but they're questions we all need to be asking ourselves. I agree. Tools like Raid Hunter are giving us a glimpse into what surveillance really looks like in our world. They're empowering us to take control and demand more transparency from those in power. It's about reclaiming our right to privacy and ensuring that these technologies are being used responsibly and ethically. The future of privacy is in our hands. It's up to each of us to educate ourselves, to challenge the status quo, and to fight for a world where our right to privacy is respected and protected. So next time you're out and about using your phone, take a second to think about the unseen devices that might be operating around you. Ask yourself, what level of surveillance am I comfortable with? What steps am I willing to take to protect my own privacy and to advocate for a better digital world? Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep. Until next time.